Hello food fans, going to have some ground beef sandwiches here today with some ground beef that was bought uh, just when the prices were beginning to uh, inflate and uh, they're much more expensive today but these are ground beef patties are about a third of a pound each and they cost about a dollar eighty cents per patty which seems like a lot of money to me but uh, they taste good and I like them I'm going to make some ground beef sandwiches and I'm not sure what they cost today because this is uh, from probably a month ago or so that I bought these but we'll have some uh, secret ingredients with the ground beef sandwiches we're going to have fried potatoes also and our uh, traditional salad so let's get started what I have cooking in the pan right now there are two ground beef patties and some potatoes and some onions I'm going to flip the beef it's been frying for a little while so we'll try to flip it over and splash it down into the fat I did not have any um, non-stick spray that I put into the pan and I did not put any olive oil or any kind of cooking oil in there with it this is all the grease from the was it 17% uh, fat whatever the content of fat is there and I'll let that cook for a little bit longer and pretty soon we're going to have some very very tasty ground beef sandwiches with a secret ingredient and we'll flip the uh, potatoes and onions also let them deep fry in the fat there Let it cook for a while. And I will flip the burgers one more time here. These are burgers and are also ground beef sandwiches. I'm going to uh, eat them with whole wheat bread instead of the hamburger buns. I like whole wheat bread a lot. And it's still reasonably low priced. Let that cook for a little while. I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning in there and uh, get ready to flip it one more time. And the seasoning, I'll have garlic powder and also I will put in a little bit of chili powder. Here's the garlic powder. Not much. And also, if you have fresh garlic there, Whole cloves of garlic you can use that it depends on how many people you're cooking for but the garlic powder adds a lot to it here comes the chili powder not too much now I will uh, get ready to flip uh, these uh, ground beef patties over one more time and uh, first I'm going to put in about one half of a can of chili with beans. And what I'll do actually is flip the meat first of all before I add the chili with beans. The potatoes are starting to brown up. Room. I'll turn this meat patty over. And now put in half of a can of uh, chili with beans. That should be about the half a can there. We will mix that all in together and let it cook a little bit longer. I have turned down the heat. We're going to let that uh, cook just a little bit longer there in the heat that's already built up. And then we will eat.
Well, it looks good and it is very hot. And uh, parents there keep the kids away from anything hot or anything sharp in the kitchen or elsewhere. I have my salad here. This is cabbage and carrots, and I don't have tomatoes today, so I've also got the relish and the ketchup and uh, the mayonnaise in there. And what I'm going to do is put the whole wheat bread over here and I will um, make a first sandwich and we'll also talk a little bit about movies some of the different movies. I watched a good movie last night uh, I've watched it many times before a movie called North by Northwest directed by Alfred Hitchcock starring Cary Grant with the Several famous scenes in the movie that I really like. The cornfield, uh, the crop duster plane, the cornfield scene. As you get here, here goes the ground beef patty with chili beans on it. Chili goes good with uh, either hot dogs or hamburgers or in this case ground beef which uh, can also be called a hamburger but it doesn't have a hamburger bun at this time some mustard on there hopefully it's almost empty but not quite there goes the mustard and put on some uh, relish relish is good, at least I like it. And uh, the movie North by Northwest, in addition to the crop duster scene, has, uh, has a good scene in uh, an auction gallery. And some other good moments in the movie. I think it was uh, Hitchcock's best movie. Uh, North by Northwest is quite often my favorite movie. Sometimes I like the talented Mr. Ripley better, depends on which movie I'm watching at the time as to which one I like best. And I always find something that I hadn't noticed before in each one of those movies. And the talented Mr. Ripley, when you're watching it, it sort of feels quite often like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. And this is a ground beef, very messy sandwich. And ground beef does taste good. Especially with some chili on it. Some people think that uh, chili should not be served with beans. If you ever go to a chili, chili cook-off, chances are they will not allow you to put beans in the chili. I do like beans in my chili. North by Northwest, uh, let, me take another, <clears throat> let me take another bite of this uh, sandwich first. This is just plain good. Very, very, very good. I'll try some of the uh, potatoes and onions. potato with some chili beans on it. Get some onions and a potato. Potato is a slice.
the um, movie, North by Northwest, I'm here to copy the DVD here. I've watched it quite a few times. One of the things I like a lot about the movie is the title sequence, the opening. It was done without a computer, it was done in the 1950s, but it looks like something that um, would require expensive equipment to do today. I have a pretty good video editor and I couldn't begin to do what they did with the title sequence of North by Northwest. Another good title sequence I think you'll like, a movie I think you'd like, is It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. The title sequence is animated. I'm just going to have a spoonful of the chili beans because I like them. More salad. This is good. But the best title sequence, in my humble opinion, of all the movies I have seen. This is the Pink Panther series. It's got uh, probably about eight movies in there and about four of them are really good. But the movie that has a great title sequence, the best title sequence I think, The Pink Panther Strikes Again. I highly recommend that just to watch the title sequence and then get up and leave if you want to, but I think you like the movie too. The movie is very good. This is a big, big, big fat hamburger or ground beef sandwich. I wonder if the hamburger was invented in Hamburg and was the hot dog invented in Vienna, Wieners, Vienna, or was it invented in Frankfurt, Frankfurters. See what else we got here. Um, some comedy movies I think you'd like. My Cousin Vinny with Ralph Macchio, Joe Pesci. Fred Gwynn, who is Herman Munster. root beer time. And Another movie I like a lot, Some Like It Hot. The movies that they're making today, I've watched most of the movies that are up for awards for 2021. They seem to be making movies that are downers. They don't have 
a way of making a movie that makes you feel glad when it's all finished and you go outside and face the world and wow, this is wonderful, life is great. I think Hollywood movie makers now want everyone <clears throat> to feel like their pr their plumbing is broken or they're uh, stranded at the side of the road with no gas or something. They have movies that have bleak themes. But you can watch Some Like It Hot and you'll be happier after you've watched it than you were before you started watching it. Mmm. Finish up my salad. Of course, it's possible I'm getting old. And I just don't like the new movies. Even the bad movies used to be fun, like Plan 9 from Outer Space. Salad is gone. Have some more root beer. Finish this first sandwich. I think beef prices have just about doubled from a year ago. That's my guess. I noticed gasoline prices are up uh, this past few days. But if you have your health and you're enjoying good food, nothing to complain about. Maybe complain a little bit, that's fun. Some movies I'll recommend. <clears throat> Anything by Mel Brooks, including Young Frankenstein with Gene Wilder and the producers. I like the version with Zero Mostel and Gene Wilder. And the producers is based on something that's true, has to do with money and probably something that's been done in the past, it's sort of criminal activity that if you get away with it, they just uh, never know what happened. It was comedy. It should be a comedy because money is funny.
I guess the newest form of money, the crypto cryptocurrency. Just the name crypto. I don't want to be in a crypt. I don't want to be in a vault. Good food, 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 good food. Another good comedy movie that I recommend. I think it was Val Kilmer's first movie. One of his first certainly. I got I got to work with Val Kilmer in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. He and Robert Downey Jr. This is um, very funny movie uh, that is somewhat like Airplane or Naked Gun and has lots of dancing, rock and roll music, comedy routines. It's called Top Secret with an exclamation point after it. Sort of a uh, World War II type movie. Mmm. More potatoes. Potatoes are very good, and potatoes probably would be one of the most, the least expensive foods that uh, is out there right now. And you can cook potatoes lots of different ways. <clears throat> I hope you're doing well, and I hope uh, the coming spring that should be here very soon in um, the Northern Hemisphere, I hope it's a delightful weather scene for you. And if you live in the summer in the Southern um, Hemisphere, hope you have a good uh, fall and winter. More bread. Another movie. away. We're done with Mr. Bread. Another movie I'll recommend, comedy movie, Office Space. It's especially good for anyone who's uh, doing telephone soliciting from a cubicle looking out at a brick wall next door. There's a second sandwich. The second sandwich I just have is the wheat bread and the ground beef. My other favorite movie, along with North by Northwest, is The Talented Mr. Ripley. If you haven't seen that, it plays very much like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. If Hitchcock had done it, it would have been slightly better, I think. But it's very, very good the way it was made. Bites of the sandwich, then 
to make the video shorter, I'll show what the dessert is. The dessert, the secret dessert, is a pudding cup. It's chocolate. Chocolate pudding. And it's 85 cents for four of them, so 22 cents. 21, 22 cents for one. Mm. Here's a pudding cup. This uh, I bought from Aldi's. The um, root beer came from Kroger. The pudding came from Aldi's. The uh, beef came from Aldi's. The bread came from Aldi's. Whoops. Thank you for joining me and thank you very much for watching.